12.30 a.m. It's Shevchenko Street. We came here with a group of journalists because it was reported that a missile got into this UN factory. And you see the car is hit and the two buildings are destroyed. So uh, the building is destroyed no, completely. So you can imagine how hard was the heat. Uh, this is a residential area with no military object and uh, people live very close to, to this building where the uh, missile hit. Russian terrorists shelled Kyiv. Five people were killed, five wounded. This is the place where solely civilians stay. The explosions are in the residential districts around main broadcasting tower and Babi Yar, the place where dozens of thousands of Jews were executed by Nazis. Early today, Russian terrorists attacked the Freedom Square in Kharkiv with Iskander cruise missile. Nine civilians died, dozens were wounded. In Kherson, Russian terrorists shelled residential district. The tactics of scorched lands are widely used by the occupiers, first of all in peaceful districts to provide as many death and infrastructure damage as possible. Right after that, the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, demanded from the world to recognize Russia as terrorist state. The two buildings are destroyed. So uh, the building is destroyed no, completely. Thank <laughs> you.